truth here. I've been waiting for you to come because I wanted to ask this question. And thank you, Warren, for calling it in. Please explain who Allah is. Some people say he is the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You've even seen it on some of the Christian television stations that says that. Well, Allah has 99 names in the Quran. And a couple of his names, one of them is the destroyer. And one of them who does damage, does mischief. Uh, Adar. Uh, so uh, these cannot be attributes of God. God is not a destroyer in the, in, the, in the Bible. Allah is a religion that was there, the worship of Allah, was there before Muhammad was even born. Remember, his name is Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim. He is Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, the servant of Allah. So how could have Muhammad introduced Allah if his father's name is the slave of Allah? You see, it's a Babylonian religion. You have to understand uh, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, his son Nebuchadnezzar uh, came to Arabia. He came to Yathrib, since you mentioned Yathrib. He came to Yathribu, look at the oracles of Nebuchadnezzar. And he established the worship of Murdukh, which did not work. It, it was not palatable to the Arabs. Uh, so then he introduced the worship of the moon god, and that flourished in Arabia. That's why it's called the daughter of Babylon. That's why Arabia is a daughter of Babylon. Uh, so you had the introduction from Babylonian religion. It's a Babylonian religion. And if you look at like, like people in, in, in the Bible uh, regarding the Antichrist, or regarding Gog, let's say. Gog is, a, we always ask, who is Gog? Gog is a reference to a real historical figure. His name was Gaigez, Gugu. He was from Elidia, which is Turkey. He worshipped the god Men, which is the moon god. So the establishment of the moon god was, came from the eons of time. And most Muslims don't know why the moon god is there. And the it, crescent moon on all the flags, the minarets, and so forth. It's all over, the symbol of the, of the crescent moon. Yes. Uh, uh, even if you look at the Hebrew word in, 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 Isaiah, in, in Isaiah, where it talks about the five eyes, uh, his name is the word Lucifer. Go to the Hebrew. It's Hilal ben Sahar, Hilal the brightness. Hilal is also an Arab word, which means crescent moon, by the way. Really? So there's a connection there. There's a Babylonian connection of Islam. It's one of the many Babylonian religions. Uh, it, it is totally foreign to the Bible. This is why I was astonished when I started looking at the Bible. I says, there's two different gods. One God hates Jews, one God loves Jews. Uh, one God says, hey, we should not unite the world under uh, one language. Uh, Babylon, you know, was, you know, mm -hmm. from, from that moment on, God changed the language. Uh, Islam wants to unite the world under one language, under one religion, one culture, one, one entity. This is not from the Bible. So, uh, let me step in here. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, look, I don't know of a, a translation of the Bible into uh, Arabic that does not have Allah as God. Okay? Now, how's that going to work? The Quran says Allah is not a father and he does not have a son. So, how are you going to have John 3.16? in this Arabic Bible. For Allah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The Quran, he can give you the verses, says you believe in the Trinity, you go to hell. But the Bible is a triune God. Allah was the chief idol in the Kaaba. There were 300 and some idols. And Muhammad smashed them, but he kept the same, the name of Allah. It's the same God uh, that they had before. Nothing changed. The Hajj, uh, the ha you know, the sacred pilgrimage, it didn't change, did it? They practiced it, the pagan Arabs, for centuries before Muhammad was born. Uh, well, I mean, there's so many details, we don't have time. The, the, the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, most important treaty, when Muhammad comes, this is incredible. He's, he's started this Muslim religion, supposedly. And he's living in Medina now. And he comes in 628 AD with his followers. These are new Muslims now. And they come to Mecca. What do they want to go do? They want to join the Hajj. What is the Hajj? They're going to go to this Kaaba. Got 300 and some idols. And Allah is the chief idol. And they want to join the pagans and go around. Okay, that's when Mecca was too strong. They stopped him. And 
he entered into this treaty of Hudaybiyah, the most important treaty, I guess, in Islamic history because it set the law of war and peace. Uh, it, a, it established a hudna. And these guys are not talking about peace, they're talking about a hudna, a temporary ceasefire so we can gather our strength to destroy you, okay? So, but as part of that deal, Muhammad got to come then the next year, 629. Here he comes. These are Muslims. This is Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. And they join the pagans. They go seven times. Did you ever go on that pilgrimage? No. My father did. Yeah. Go seven times around the Kaaba, kiss the dark stone, touch the stone in the Imani corner, run between Marwa and Safi, you know, go to Wadi Mina. Every year they get trampled to death over there mm -hmm. and throw seven rocks each at each of seven effigies of Satan, supposedly. All of the pagan ceremonies that were established before Muhammad was born, the Muslims do them today. Only thing they changed was, instead of Allah being the chief God in the Kaaba, Allah is the only God, and if you don't admit that, we kill you, okay? Mm -hmm. The uh, Ramadan is the same thing. It's the same pagan ceremony. The Quran says, you could probably tell us this verse, that the Quran was first inspired in the month of Ramadan, right? Which says Ramadan already existed. And it was to Maybe be... I could uh, recite the verse. Yeah, okay. إِنَّ أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ we have descended the Quran to thee in the night of vision. What do you know what the night of vision is? It is the night of vision that this Quran supposedly came down. That's when the crescent moon shows up. It's better than a thousand months. It's the day when the angelic host is cast out of heaven by the order of their Lord. Who is their Lord? And when are the angelic hosts cast out of heaven? This is, this is in the Bible, the, angel, mm -hmm. the demonic force. Mm -hmm. and here's a parallel. The demonic force in the Bible is the good host in the Quran. The Antichrist of the Bible is the Mahdi of Islam. Second John 2.22. Who is the liar? He who denies that Jesus is the Christ, that God came in the flesh. Mm -hmm. He is Antichrist that denies the Father and the Son. Major. So what is Allah? Allah is the religion of Antichrist. It is a form of Antichrist. It is a system of Antichrist. And maybe, I know Dave Hunt will agree with me with that one. Talking about Sharia Allah, you know, everything Dave Hunt would say about what's happening in the world proves my point. Who's changing the laws? Who's asking to change all the laws throughout the Middle East? Who's establishing Sharia Allah? And what does that law say? Women have no right. Mm -hmm. Does not honor the desire of women and honors a god of forces, a god of fortresses. Who's honoring a god hungry of war and jihad? Who's doing that these days? Is that not a religion of Antichrist? Oh, mm -hmm. my, my, yes it You're is. You're making some good points, brother. <laughs> but, sure are good But points. we still disagree. That's right. <laughs> so because you're from the old school, you gotta come to the new school. Okay. <laughs>